Hey guys, this is Sam. This is a video response for Happy Katie Love and her 14 month uh, video or dreadlock update. And she mentioned in her video that her hair was smelling a little odd when it was moist. And so um, I have a couple of different suggestions and ideas. Uh, one is that if your hair is smelling when it's wet, that to me says mildew. So you need to go ahead and kill the mildew as soon as possible. And so you have a couple of different options. Mildew is a fungus and fungus can be killed with an antiseptic. So you can use a low grade antiseptic which an example of that would be apple cider vinegar. You want you want to use an ap an antiseptic that's safe for your hair. That's not going to do anything crazy to it. So um, if it's mildew, I would just use the apple cider vinegar straight. I would just, uh, whenever you're finished washing your hair, first of all, when you're washing your hair, rinse, 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 rinse. Let me say it again, rinse, um, and get it all out. Because if there's uh, shampoo or conditioner or whatever left in your hair, that just leaves room for the fungus to grow on it. So just rinse, 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 rinse. The less it's in your hair, the less likely you'll have stuff growing in your hair. So rinse. Um, as soon as you're done rinsing, um, go ahead and you, use the apple cider vinegar just straight. Pour it on your scalp. Um, it is acidic, so try not to scratch your scalp because it may burn a little bit, um, but it's nature of the beast. So uh, use apple cider vinegar straight, let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then rinse, 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 rinse. And if your hair still smells a little bit, the next time you shampoo, because you don't want to keep doing these things over and over again, because you'll just you'll dry your hair out and it will just be the most horrible texture in the world. So don't do that. But the next time you take a shower um, and wash your hair, um, if it's still smelling, then what you need to do is you kick it up a notch and you need to use a stronger antiseptic. Um, I would even say just skip over the apple cider vinegar and use the stronger antiseptic anyway, because if it were me, I would want to get rid of it as soon as possible. Use, just, just kill it, kill it with fire. <laughs> don't kill it with fire. You, you got really great dreadlocks. Don't kill it with fire. But anyway, um, so use a, a, a stronger antiseptic, um, and that stronger antiseptic. An example of that that would be safe for your hair would be Listerine. I know, sounds crazy. You heard me right. I said Listerine, um, and use the um, the original formula. It's yellow. It smells like crap, but and you'll smell like Listerine for a day or two, but it will kill it and it will get it dead. Um, you can use like a half and half or ratio, or you can use like three quarters Listerine and then a quarter water, or whatever you need to do. But same idea, wash your hair, rinse it, and then, um, excuse me, put the Listerine in your hair, and then you can um, leave, like put a shower cap on and leave that on for a couple of hours. Uh, or you can leave it on for a couple minutes, however much you think is necessary to kill the mildew. So do what you need to do and then rinse it out, rinse it out, rinse it out. My second suggestion is uh, the reason that you're having the mildew problem in the first place is that your hair is staying wet for too long. So you need to get your hair dry. That means don't sleep with your head wet. That means um, using a hair dryer. That means uh, taking a shower only in, in the mornings. And if you do take a shower at night, then that means that you have to dry and dry and dry and dry. And uh, from what I saw in your video, it looks like that your dreadlocks are thicker than mine, which means because you've chosen to go with a thicker dreadlock that they're going to take longer to dry. So that means that it's going to take longer for the... Um, for the air, the heat, whatever it is that you're using to dry your dreadlocks to get to the, the center. And so um, the uh, mildew flourishes in a moist environment, which is why it's growing and which is why it's happening in the first place. So hair dryer is your best friend. Um, and even if you squeeze the dreadlock and it feels dry, they're deceiving little bastards. So you have to, I mean, just dry until you know that they are completely dry. And till you don't like, till you can't smell like the mildew, you can't smell anything. Just, just dry and dry. Just, just get them dry. Um, but that's what I suggest is um, uh, kill it, kill the mildew ASAP because you just don't, you don't want that in your hair. Um, get your hair dry 
and um, don't go to bed. Don't go to bed with your head wet. Um, the the less time that your hair is wet, the less likely that you'll have stuff like mildew growing in your hair. It's pretty. It's it's just the way it goes. But if you do start to smell it again, then do a treatment again, um, and then kill it again. Do what you need to do. But anyway, I hope this helps, and I hope uh, you get rid of it. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, I, ha I got this particular information from Quotidian Light. Um, she has had dreadlocks for years and years and she's had several different sets of dreadlocks. I want to say she's on like the third or fourth set. I could be pulling that number out of my ass, but I know she's had at least more than two sets of dreadlocks. So she knows what the hell she's talking about. So if you want to uh, listen or talk to anybody who um, you can pull on for resources, it would be her. She's great. She's awesome. Um, and I looked for her video where she talks about it a little more in depth, um, and it's the locks Listerine for dandruff. And I have used Listerine before, however, I used it for dandruff and not for mildew, but it works the same. It, it is for, um, dandruff is, uh, is, is similar in that it can, it's, can be fungus on your scalp or bacteria on your scalp. I can't remember. Anyway, but you can kill that also with Listerine or apple cider vinegar or something like that. But if it's mildew, I would use Listerine for your hair. So yeah. Um, but check out that video, see what you think, um, and I hope this helps.